hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 8 assignment of the course cyber security and privacy guys so these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes if come to my notice definitely i will update them in the comment section guys so please watch the video till then because if i make any changes in between the video you can be able to note that so do watch full video guys so for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses now let's see the first question the cost benefit analysis cba formula for risk management decisions is given by what so for first question the probable answer is option a guys cba equals ale pre or minus ale post minus acs so mark option a as probable solution for first question now let's see the second one In a cost benefit analysis, what is the expected percentage of loss that would occur from a particular attack? So, for second question, the probable answer is option C is annualized loss expectancy. So, mark option C as the probable solution for second question. Next, moving on to the third one now. A dash is a network security device that monitors traffic to or from a network and decides whether to allow or block specific traffic based on a defined set of security rules so for third question the probable answer is op fourth option guys that is firewall it is firewall next fourth question fourth question what risk management approach aims to minimize the impact of losses resulting from an actual incident disaster or attack by implementing thorough contingency plans and preparations so for fourth question the probable answer is first option guys mitigation risk control stat strategy mitigation risk control strategy next moving on to the fifth question now the product of the assets value and the exposure factor is known as what so for fifth question it is first option guys single loss expectancy single loss expectancy next moving on to the sixth one So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the course cyber security and privacy, we have collected the past years exam preparation MCQs guys. With five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected this. So here you are going to get a huge number of 120 MCQs guys. So 120 MCQs, you will get that. So 120 MCQs, you will get that in a in, the, in a google drive pdf restricted link guys so for one person it is 150 rupees only guys if you take it if you take it combinedly for five persons for five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys so if your classmates or friends doing the same course then guide them and they ask them to join you as a group so that you can get individually for less price only so if you are one person that is 150 rupees guys if for five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id only if you are confirmed to make the purchase then only mail me guys so this is the email id guys bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so these are the past years nptl assignment questions so what are the features of this so search option available you can search any question you want it is also easy to revise mcqs so you can easily revise that so the validity will be till the exam results day. until the exam results get published you'll get the you'll your access will be there and high syllabus coverage in less time so this is the mail id guys bk179417 at the gmail.com so with five years of nptl experience we have collected this so these are the past years exam preparation mcqs for cyber security and privacy course so 120 mcqs in you will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link so for one person it is 150 rupees for five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so please tell this with you. share the information with your friends and classmates case and do purchase this pack
sixth question which of the following is not true so for sixth question the probable answer is second option next seventh one sorry seventh one the false acceptance rate far in biometrics refers to what so for seventh question the probable answer is first option guys the system mistakenly accepting an unauthorized user so mark option one guys first option and moving on to the eighth question eighth question the IEEE framework in the context of access control stands for what so for eighth question the probable answer is second option is identification authentication authorization and accountability so mark option two guys second option next moving on to the ninth question what is a significant challenge associated with symmetric key encryption so for ninth question the probable answer is fourth option is key management securely distributing and safeguarding the shared key so mark fourth option is moving on to the final question guys so before getting into this i want to once again make you remember so for the course cyber security and privacy we, are, we have collected the past year's exam uh, nptl assignment questions guys so 120 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted restrict link you will get so for one person it is 150 rupees for five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys if you want to purchase then only mail me guys so this is the mail id bk179470 at the gmail.com so i will give the same email id in the description box as well guys so this is the mail id so remember guys only if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail us because many genuine students are waiting for us in the priority order so we have to respond for everyone so please if you are confirmed to make the purchase then only mail us guys so this is the mail id already many students professors and associate professors as well have taken the package so now let's see the last question solution and solution in risk management which equation is used to calculate the expected loss per risk so for 10th and final question the probable answer is second option is annualized loss expectancy ale equals single loss expectancy sle into annualized rate of occurrence aro so mark second option so friends, these are the probable solutions for week 8 assignment of cyber security and privacy course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this news with your friends and classmates guys, in your WhatsApp, college, student groups, unofficial groups. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this. Until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.